Hello everybody, welcome back to another Vincent ASMR video. Today, as you guys can hear, I got some gum in my mouth and we're going to be doing a bit of a ramble session. Not completely a ramble because I do have some points here because when I try and do ramble videos, I tend to forget um, what I'm saying. I tend to forget like what to talk about or like I tend to not be able to think of anything. Um, but yeah, uh, filming this a bit later, probably the lighting looks a bit artificial, I'm gonna actually turn it down a little bit. There we go, I've got like a, uh, whatever light. Um, but yeah guys, the weather is awful outside today, it is raining, but it's not that cold, which is okay. Um, I still hate the rain though, and it's dark out, and it gets really dark early. Um. You know, if you guys are based in LA or, you know, places that it never really gets that cold. Like, you don't really have all four seasons. It's just kind of like spring and summer all the time. And I'm very jealous. Um, I live in London. And we very much get a pretty bad winter here and pretty bad autumn or fall. Um... Yeah, I mean personally, I love the um, I love the warm weather, so this is not ideal. But what are you gonna do? Um, it's just, it just gets really sad. I think, um, you know, just this weather. You know, on, on like on, on a deeper psychological level, you just it just makes me feel like tired and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels like that. Hopefully I'm not alone in thinking that. Um, but yeah, so what else? Yeah, I'm pretty much, I don't know. I can't wait till the sun starts setting later. And it does because I think the shortest day of the year is, uh, you can hear some rain outside. Shortest day of the year is um, the 20, first of December at the 22nd of December, and then after that, the days start getting longer, um, which means the sunset starts setting later and rising earlier. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. Um, and yeah, so if you guys are with me on that, if you guys experience, if you guys are in a place with really cold winters, you know, like maybe somewhere uh, like Minnesota or Wisconsin or places like that in the U.S. or even like, I don't know, like Scandinavia and Europe or even like Northern England or Scotland, um, my hats go off to you because I can barely survive this crappy weather here without just getting on a plane to L.A. and being like, I'm never going back. Um, but yeah, um, I'm chewing some extra gum today. White, extra white. It's my favorite one. It's I think it's the strongest one, the strongest mint. It has like the I don't know how to describe it. It's not like grains of mint, but there's something in it that makes it like crunchy. Not like crunchy. I don't know how to describe it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then like this video. Um, we're trying to get 2,000 subscribers by 2021 or by the end of 2020. So let's do it, become part of the Vincent ASMR squad, because I don't have a name for you guys yet. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite kind of gum, the extra white gum. Um, I like like peppermint and spearmint and whatever. I think they have one that's called ice as well, which is pretty good, but, but white is my favorite. It's the strongest one. I love just biting into a piece of gum and then being like overwhelmed with mint for some reason. Um, I don't know why, um, I'm not really a fan of flavored gum, um, I don't know why, maybe, like, I like the, um, uh, like, cinnamon, is it cinnamon flavored ones, the, like, spicier ones, not spicy, but, like, I don't know, but, like, I'm not a fan of, like, strawberry or watermelon or things like that, I don't know why, they just, they made me feel like a bit, not great, like my stomach feels a bit off when I chew them. I don't even know why. I've 
is I'm not like swallowing the gum at the end of at the end of it um, at the end of chewing it. Um, well, at least not on purpose. Um, but yeah, yeah, I remember people used to be like, "Oh yeah, if you swallow a piece of gum, it stays in your stomach for like years." I don't know if you guys ever had that. I definitely had that in like my elementary school. Um, pretty funny, just because of how not true that is. Um, I'm pretty sure it just takes a bit longer to digest, so if any of my viewers are worried about swallowing gum, um, no need to be worried. It just takes a little longer to digest. Um, but yeah, I don't know, never, never really been into chewing flavored gum. Um, maybe when I was like younger, and I also find that if, if I'm chewing like Abba Bubba, and I have chewed Abba Bubba, uh, I chewed it in a video that I filmed like a month or two ago. Um, I find that like when I bite it, I just want to eat it because it tastes like food. <laughs> or it tastes more like candy, realistically. Um, so yeah, that's my verdict on gum types. If you guys are looking for a very strong minted gum, you know, maybe you've eaten something like onions or garlic. You want that fresh breath, extra mint. And this is only half the packet I ripped it, as you can see. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, probably my more long-time viewers know that this is actually the third setup that I've had. Um, I've recently moved. Not so recently anymore. It's been like two months now or a month and a half. And if any of you guys have ever moved, not with your family, by yourselves, into a place that wasn't fully furnished, oh my god, why did no one tell me how awful it is? We had to buy curtains, we had to find a couch, we had to find a TV, a table, like even a microwave. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know. And the thing is, right, I wanted, like, obviously I wanted to just, like, rent a place that was already furnished, but then it's not even worth it in the long term because by the time you pay so much more rent for a place that's furnished, it would have just been better for you to buy all the things. Like, it would have been more economical for you to just buy all the things. I don't know if that's the correct word. Um, but yeah, you see what I'm saying? Hopefully. Um, oh my god. The struggle. Like, having to order curtains and figure out what size and all of this BS. Very difficult. Um, luckily we've been fortunate enough to have quite a few family friends and just friends in general. Um, you know, donate, like, or give us, like, this desk that I film these videos on, uh, the TV, the couch. Um, but yeah, it's just annoying things like that. You know, annoying things like curtains and a table, like just a coffee table. Um, so yeah, you, I'm sure you guys know the struggle if you've ever done that, I don't know. Or if you've ever bought a home, I'm sure you have to furnish it as well. Um, uh, I don't really know what my viewer base in terms of age is. I'd imagine you guys are, I don't know, in your 20s or something. Um, I, probably, I feel like that's probably the average age. Because um, I'm not making very kids content, but I feel like I'm not really... I don't know. I don't know if people like above the age of 40 are really like... Know what ASMR is. I don't know. I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> so let's just say 25 is the average age and go with it. I'm 21, by the way. Um, but yeah. Um, furnishing a place is a pain. Not to mention that every time you rent... And if you guys have not rented a place, but you're going to, just know this, every time you rent, the second you move in to a place, there's going to be like 50 things wrong with it, just because that's, that's how it goes for some reason. Which doesn't make any sense. Realistically, when you move in, it should be like perfect, and then things will break over time. But that's kind of just the way it is. I don't really know why. There must be some laws around it. You know, like inspections not being that thorough or something. I'm not. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of been my life.
I've recently, my other hobby outside of ASMR has been uh, furnishing my own, my own place, my own flat. Um, other than that, the flat is the flat's really nice though. Um, it was redone recently, and uh, it has that like very like newish look, you know, the like grays and the whites, that kind of like new. I don't know what you call it. I'm not like an interior designer, but it looks very fresh and very like modern, for lack of a better word. If any of my viewers are interior designers, you could comment below and uh, and tell me. Um, but yeah, and then on top of that, um, I graduated from uni or college or university, depending on where you're from. Um, I graduated. Was it? I finished exams in May, but my graduation ceremony was in July. Um, so yeah, this is like the job that I'm working now is my first like full time, long term job. Um, wow, the rain is going crazy with the wind. Um, and yeah, at the moment I'm just kind of getting adjusted to working. I don't know if any of you guys feel my struggle because maybe you've been through it or you're going through it. Um, but, like, it sucks. <laughs> Working sucks. Um, and for me, it's not in a sense of what I'm doing. Like, I don't not enjoy what I'm doing. Like, I enjoy it. I'm getting a good experience. But for me, it's just like, it takes so many hours out of my day, which just sucks. Basically, if, if any of you have been, like, watching since I had, like, 10 subs, um, that was before I had a job, and I was putting out like two videos a day, because obviously I had time, right, I had time during the day, um, but like my job's like 9 to 5, right, so I, I have to leave the house at like 8.30 inevitably, and then by the time I get back, it's like 5.30, so that's like not 8 hours, it's like 9 hours, and then you actually have to like eat, you have to make food, you have to, and I know it's like adult life, you know, my parents told me, like, oh, yeah, that's just, like, how it is. Um, so, yeah, um, adjusting to that at the moment. Um, it's just, like, if you guys work a full-time job, you know, like, at, like, 4 or 4.30, you just, like, want to get out of there. Um, especially because, like, the sun goes down by the time I leave, so it's, uh, it's not ideal. Um, but I think, I think I'm getting used to it, you know. Um, obviously, uh, you know, it takes time, but a lot of people, you know, work their entire lives, so I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get used to it, I think it's just, uh, just takes time, and I don't even know if I'm gonna be wanting to work a 9 to 5 for my entire life, so, um, we'll see, maybe I'm just gonna become a famous ASMR artist, who knows? But, um, yeah, adjusting to working is not the easiest thing in the world, um, because it's, it's not like being at school where you're doing something different every day, like, you're doing a lot of the same things, unless you're doing some, like, unless you're, like, a, I don't know, a heart surgeon or something, where every person is different, or every time you do something, it's different, um, but, it's definitely, like, different to school and university. Um, the best thing about it is you get paid. So, rather than paying for it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys know my struggle, feel free to drop a like on this video. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, I've, just, I've, I've been watching quite a bit of YouTube recently. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube. I've watched YouTube probably all the way since. I don't even know when. <clears throat> I think 2008 or 9. So it's been like over 10 years now. Um, I watched when like Smosh were first kind of blowing up. When uh, Ray William Johnson and Equals 3. Um, who else used to be big? I don't know. I'm trying to think of the gaming scene. Um, I don't know, um, remember like CNN or, um, White Boy 7 
Street, Woody's Gamer Tag. I think they were a bit after them, but um, like KSI. I'm trying to think who else. Who else was big? Like not like not like in 2008, but like a little after then is when I really started getting into watching YouTube. Um, Clutch is that one of the guys' names? Forgetting. Um, but yeah, and so it's, it's so weird to actually be doing it now, um, because I've just been, like, watching it for so long, so I kind of, like, know what a traditional YouTube video looks like, and obviously that's changed a lot, um, over the years, um, in terms of ASMR, I watch, like, Prince ASMR, um, I watch Sufficient Whispers, guys who I probably take the most inspiration from, you know, kind of like that chill ASMR, you know, not trying to, like, do too much or anything, just, like, trying to be laid back, and, yeah, just chill, I mean, that's kind of what I try and do in my videos as well, um, you know, not the traditional, like, not the super traditional ASMR all the time, um, but, yeah, and then, uh, I don't know what else I would watch, I say I watch probably, like, some I don't know. What have I been watching recently? Let's see. Um, I don't really watch much gaming anymore. I used to watch more gaming, um, but not anymore. I watch some like of the of the commentary channels and stuff like that, um, like Jack Mate or Mimulus or all of them. Um, I watch some of the Sidemen videos. Those tend to be pretty funny. Um, I'm sure I watch more stuff. Just can't really think of it right now. Um, I watch some like finance content, like Graham Stephan and Nate O'Brien, and um, I watch quite a bit of Matt Diavella as well. He's uh, he kind of does like some minimalist stuff and like self improvement stuff. Um, it's just crazy to see how much YouTube has changed since since like 2008, 2009, when it was just like dumb viral videos. Now it's like big content, um, and, like, mainstream celebrities are getting into it and stuff, it's crazy, wanted to see it come this far, um, kind of regret not starting a YouTube channel so long ago, um, but what can you do, you know, at least I, uh, I started one now, I'm happy I have, it's been really fun, and it's been, like, learned quite a bit, I feel, about, like, creating content and stuff. I mean, I've put, like, over 50 videos on this channel, 